These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all. I'm Faye Fredericks with your top stories from ABC 15 Arizona. Following up now on teen violence in the Valley, the Chandler Unified School District announcing plans to address the issue following a community walk to honor Preston Lord last night. After the walk, people attended the school board meeting calling for communication and action. The superintendent announcing the formation of a teen violence advisory committee. In this group, helping us address matters including smartphone usage, social media and video game dangers, bullying and harassment. District says it will provide more details on the committee during an in-depth interview with ABC 15 at a later date. Supreme Court win for former President Trump. Court agreeing to hear his immunity claim related to the election interference case against him. The president has to have immunity. There is nothing more important to a presidency than immunity. I think there are very few legal scholars who think that a majority of the court would agree that any president would have this sort of broad immunity over any conduct in office. Arguments are expected to be heard the week of April 22nd, delaying the case brought by special counsel Jack Smith. A decision from the high court may not come until June. Many Arizonans priced out of the rental market. Now Arizona Attorney General Chris Mays is suing some local landlords, accusing them of illegally raising rent by sharing pricing information and eliminating competition. All these landlords stuck together and didn't lower prices like a normal competitor would do, then they were gonna be okay with that high price and that people would be forced to pay it um, or you know, go to some other city perhaps. Chris May says the problems may have started as far back as 2016. She accuses a software company of working with at least nine property managers to drive up prices. In Snowflake, Arizona, police arresting a man they say started multiple arson fires over the past seven years. Snowflake is just southeast of Winslow. Police arresting 33-year-old Byron Begay after connecting his shoes with imprints left at multiple fire scenes. Begay eventually admitted to being involved in 15 incidents dating back to 2016, setting fires to vacant homes and announcer booths at local high schools. Happening right now, an out-of-control wildfire tearing through Texas and Oklahoma. The Smokehouse Creek Fire is currently the second largest in Texas history. Governors in both states now activating extra resources to try to stop the flames. The fire scorching scores of structures and thousands of cattle. Ranchers fighting to save their land and livestock. The biggest thing we lost was our grass. Um, we did lose some cattle. Uh, Fortunately, it wasn't as bad as what you would think or what we had thought it would be. Yeah, windy conditions and dry brush fueling the growing fire that's claimed 200 acres of land every minute. Those conditions not expected to ease with calls for elevated to critical fire weather for the area through the weekend. After a burger backlash from coast to coast, Wendy's is trying to clarify its plan to test so-called dynamic pricing, where customers could see menu price changes during the day based on demand or location. Initial reactions about the pricing plan led to Wendy's normally grilled food getting roasted. So a burger may cost a dollar more during the lunch rush and $40 more at 3 a.m. We know you want it. <laughs> Just set a price. Tell me the price. Don't don't uh, punish me for going at a certain time. But now Wendy's is firing back, saying when it comes to surge pricing, we didn't use that phrase, nor do we plan to implement that practice. Now, insisting any shift in pricing would be to offer discounts during slower times of the day. Wendy's doesn't plan to test the new pricing until next year. Tracking your forecast, I'm Chief Meteorologist Amber Sellins, and we are warming things up as we wrap up this week. Phoenix back to near 80 degrees tomorrow afternoon. In fact, 80 on the dot is what we have in your forecast around 4 o'clock tomorrow. Temperatures will be in the 50s to start the day, low 70s around lunchtime before popping up to 80 around 4 p.m., which is going to put us a few degrees above average for this time of year. But high pressure is building in, so that's what's warming us up. It's not going to last long. We do have another storm system that we're watching moving into California and the Inner Mountain West over the weekend. It is probably going to be too far north to bring us much rain or snow, but there will be a slight chance up in the high country, an inch at the most for Flagstaff, and a very slight chance of a few isolated rain showers here in Phoenix uh, in the overnight hours going into Sunday morning. We'll pick up some breezes here over the weekend. Windy conditions across northern Arizona, and temperatures drop as cooler air moves in. Phoenix down to 72 by Monday, mid-70s for the rest of next week.
These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Learner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all.